following program on Ada Verna 24 is classified for general audience. It is intended for all ages. It contains little or no violence, no strong language, and little or no sexual dialogue or situations. You're joining Business Best, a platform for the best in the business and an opportunity for you to connect with entrepreneurs and veterans from various industries. Have you ever thought of uniting safety and engineering? Interesting, right? So the company we are introducing to you today with their engineering solutions will unite safety with engineering we have all safe engineering private limited with us and we have the director samila sandun silva samila thank you very much for being on our show today a warm welcome to you thank you very much okay so samila let's start with your story what is the story behind all safe engineering private limited and okay. who is samila okay uh, samila silva is a person who loves sports and social work uh -huh. and by profession i am a mechanical engineer okay and uh, later uh, moved to management mm -hmm. in uh, power energy sector now i'm the director of all safe engineering private limited all safe engineering private limited yes. and you have it's a partnership right samina it's a partnership with mm -hmm. my uh, co-partner dagundi silva mm -hmm. so uh, what is why why did you think of starting your own operation here in sri lanka actually uh, my uh, co-founder and my co-director uh -huh. mr dagundi silva who started the business in 15 years back in garment industry uh and um, now he's living in UAE uh, -huh. uh actually after uh, some time you know with the market research in 2017 uh, -huh. uh he created all safe brand with uh, all safe engineering and all safe solar uh -huh. and uh, all safe industries so all safe engineering uh, what we are doing now mainly uh, the fire engineering and engineering solution section okay. okay so with that it brings to my next question what are your products and services samila uh, in fire engineering we do uh, fire uh, fire extinguishers uh, we supply fire extinguishers personal uh -huh. protective equipments okay. fire alarm system uh -huh. fire hydrant system and fire training and consultancy mm -hmm. and in uh, in engineering uh, solutions mainly we do uh, we manufacture machine parts machine components and tools Mm -hmm. Let's talk about these products in detail. So, if you uh, talk about fire protection uh, uh, products, you have. Let's talk about these yes, products. Yes, actually, in detail. Uh, before giving a solution, first we are we have to identify the issues. So, mainly what we do is uh, we are visiting the premises and we calculate the fire load and uh, what is the fire map. You know how they are. How, what is what is the production? So, depending on that, we are giving a, a confidential report to them. Okay. uh that the based on that report we uh it's in the recommendation solutions you know we are giving the a conversion report to the clients okay and so you assess this place yes we uh -huh. firstly we assess the place and we give the conversion report to them okay after that only uh with the discussion with them uh we provide the solutions okay if it is a uh, a project like newly built project so we are going with the consultants mm -hmm. and uh, with the construction company mm -hmm. and we are collaborating with them and with the compliance and the regulations uh, according to that we supply the solutions in engineering uh, solutions mm -hmm. uh, mainly you know this uh, machine components uh, you know during uh, co pandemic season is very difficult to uh, import uh, parts from uh, different countries all over the place so sure. at that time uh, we had the opportunity to make a uh, special parts in sri lanka mm -hmm. so at that time uh, we grow a business and uh, that's what uh, we are doing uh, uh, in this field so covid only help you build your business yes yes in one one part actually it's uh, with the covid we increase the businesses so do you have a manufacturing plant samila yeah we Where have a manufacturing, manufacturing plant it's located, located at ekala we uh -huh. have two workshops ekala and ragama mm -hmm. there are two manufacturing plants they actually workshops with the workshops so that's your office as well yeah i've office is at uh, jail reality plaza uh -huh. but the workshops are in ragam and ekala yeah. okay so uh what's your team like what do you have like who who who, who works for you actually we have a well experienced well educated uh, and self motivated team mm -hmm. with engineers and workshop supervisors and technicians basically mm -hmm. and actually they are superb team uh, i would say because it's uh, 
uh, because we we give a training to them mm-hmm. uh, in house trainings because uh, we need to uh, to power up their skills and to trustworthiness and uh, education and attitudes basically because it's uh, when we uh, when we enhance their knowledge it will transfer to our customers through the uh, because when we go for the project they are the people who go there and they will transfer their knowledge to our client staff then it will transfer their knowledge and once uh, once again what what will happen the the all safe name will be shining hmm. so actually our staff we have a superb staff and i would like to thank this time for them and uh, the actually the, the solution that they uh, give yes. give us yes. uh, the uh, the team behind your success exactly. and um so uh, samina uh, you were talking about that issues that you uh, come across uh, in your day to day business Let's talk about these issues in detail. What type, what types of issues your clients have? Actually, in the fire uh, engineering section, mm-hmm. uh, we we have to face uh, some issues, right? Uh, ba- basically, the main thing is fire risk assessment and code compliance with the equipment maintenance and emergency response planning mm. and design and installation part. The actually the harder part is to convince the, to the officials. to have a fire extinguisher or the fire protection system because basically the why do you need to convince i mean it's something which yeah, is when like yeah when we when we talk about the when you talk about the fire everybody yeah. think that we oh we have fire uh, we don't need fire we have a superman theory that it won't happen to us actually the they they think that we have water so we don't need fire system mm-hmm. right then um, for example if you have a fire in a switchboard electrical switchboard live you cannot use water so for that you need you have to need uh, you have to use the carbon dioxide fire extinguisher actually the in 2020 2020 mm-hmm. the fire brigade report it says uh, we have over 6000 fire related incidents in sri lanka and according to the who the world health organization report uh, we have 239 fire related deaths in sri lanka so all are the reports reported things reported uh, incidents mm. but when we going to refill uh, uh, fire extinguishers uh, in a factory uh, the officials uh, when we go there they said okay we don't have any fire issues uh, just you, you refill the fire extinguishers but when we collect the fire extinguishers we notice five or six fire extinguishers are empty and uh, we asked from the uh, staff why this is empty they said uh, Okay, we had a fire last week or last month, and we extinguished. We had to the, use it. Okay. We, we, we use that. Uh, Even for the fire trainings, are they using it? They're using it, mm-hmm. but you know, but the but this case, they said uh, we are using fire extinguishers for the real fire. Mm. So we we use it. The fire alarm also working at that time. So, uh, but these are un unhidden. So so the hidden hidden ones mm. because it's. Uh, uh, fire extinguishers and the fire alarm system play a big role in the industry but True. but it's it's hidden nobody can see it and everybody says we are fine but it's it plays a big role is there a government authority which uh, looks into it yeah uh, actually colombo fire brigade and we are the fire fire department mm-hmm. they are looking at it mm-hmm. but the main thing is it's it's not coming out from out of from the from the uh, company or the factory it's mm. it's inside but the fire extinguishers fire protection system plays a big role there Yes, yes, true. Uh, so, do you only cater to large-scale enterprises, or how does it happen? Uh, no, actually, the fire risk is uh, common to all of us. Com- actually. Yeah, even at homes. Even at homes, because for the vehicles, you know, the Sri Lanka, you have a lot of vehicles. Yeah. So, do you have fire extinguisher in your vehicle? Most probably no, because no, no because we didn't know, know that we need we to, don't, we to have one. Have, have one exactly, yeah. because you know the engine is heated up and there's a fuel, there's a plenty of air. there's a possibility to ignite so of you should course. have a fire extinguisher in a small park yeah yes small park you can get ignite and also you can help somebody else you know if you have in trouble or Mm-mm-mm. if you are in fire you can have a opportunity to help Mm-mm. to others if you have a fire extinguisher in your vehicle so we are not going we are not thinking about uh, the scale actually it's as you said it's for a home for a vehicle for a factory for a salon for a restaurant for an apartment whatever 
uh, whatever place we need, mm -hmm. a, at least a fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where can we buy these extinguishers, uh, Samila? Do you have these uh, in your? Yeah. Do you have a store? It's it's a workshop you mentioned, right? Yeah, workshop plus stores. You know, we workshop plus ah. stores is actually is together. Ah, okay. Actually, um, we, you can buy. You know, there are, there are not only not only all safe. There are so many fire protection companies in Sri Lanka. So, uh -huh. you can buy from from others also. But main thing is you should have a fire extinguisher. That is the safety aspect that you should have in your workplace or at home or your vehicle. It's very important. I think we are talking about a very important topic today, something that we neglect, I guess. Exactly. So uh, today we are in conversation with All Safe Engineering Private Limited and we have the director Samila Sandun Silva with us and they unite safety and engineering. And basically we are talking about fire. I'll, talk, I'll see you after the break. Welcome after the break and you are joining Business Best and we are in conversation with All Safe Engineering Private Limited and we have Samila, the director with us. So Samila, let's say I have an apartment and I need to get a fire solution done. If I come to you, where do we start the process of assessing my apartment? Actually, uh, first uh, we are visiting your premises mm -hmm. and uh, then we are uh, actually uh, getting information what type of uh, a business or what type of things you are doing and mm. the, the fire load mm -hmm. amount of combustible material inside the fire inside the inside your premises mm -hmm. and what is the map and how many doors and mm -hmm. fire rating building ratings and uh, how about the lux you know the lux can the, the illumination level ah, okay so we yes. have a lux meter we, we with, with the instruments we are checking all the values all mm -hmm. the informations mm -hmm. and after that only we are giving a, a Confidential or the report to you, and uh, this is the this is your apartment uh, condition, and these are the ratings, these are the extinguisher, this is the condition that you have to face, and uh, so likewise we give a fire uh, report to you, and based on the report we are giving the solution to you. So is this a free of charge? It's uh, a free of charge. Yeah, exactly. Service you are providing. Exactly, we are not charging anything. Okay. Uh, for the report, actually. Okay, so is it only in Colombo you do this, or uh, basically out of Colombo as well? Yeah, basically we are doing uh, it in uh, Western Province now. Uh huh. Uh, little more uh, in other areas also, so but basically areas. we are uh, we are working uh, in uh, Western Province. Okay, so what makes you so special in the business, uh, Samila? All Safe Engineering. Why should someone pick All Safe Engineering? Uh, let. Let me think. It's uh, it's uh, after sales service. Okay. Because uh, our customer is our best priority, the number one priority. Then the staff satisfaction, then the company profit. That's how we set up. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, if you have, uh, if you make a system, right? Nobody is there to call. If you if you uh, if you give a call, we have a problem. Nobody is there to answer. Yeah. So what is your condition? So we are keep customers in a happy condition because we always contact with them, we give feedbacks because, you know, the if the customer, the people who trust us, so we have to keep that trust. So always we are communicating in with, with them, in touch with them. And it is 24-7. 24-7 because our hotline is working 24-7. Every mm -hmm. time we are, if we are getting a, a issue or something, we will definitely attend to our team is superb and they know what to do and uh, even the night time also they uh, support uh, to our clients. Okay, so uh, these customer care people who, who handles the customers, yeah. are they like specialized and uh, is, is it a special team or you just have uh, people to answer the telephone call and to get the inquiry or the uh, problem or how does it happen? Yeah, you actually, have a specialized we, team to handle that as well. Yes, actually uh, we have a team like that to get the calls, you know, when when, when, this, when somebody calling. Mm, they're trained. Uh, they're trained. And mm -hmm. actually they are a, they, they are a person, uh, there's a, one person who is 24-7 uh, all allocated the technical team. And if if something if if some if something more we need we'll call them and uh, with the standby guys we'll uh, attend to the problem uh, as soon as possible uh, if it is a very urgent case. Otherwise, you know, depending on the request, uh, we do the 
services. So you are in touch with the fire authorities as well. If yes, something exactly. is needed, you will contact them. And, exactly. Uh, okay. So uh, I, when I was going through your website, Samina, I saw this initiative, Let's Make Something Together. What is this? Uh, actually, uh, that is uh, the part of the teamwork. Actually, what, what we do is, when we have an issue, uh -huh. we always uh, go for brainstorming session. That uh -huh. means... Uh, your team. Your team. Because mm -hmm. everybody have a chance to say something. Mm -hmm. It's it's free to uh, say anything. Because it's if you say something, new idea, new innovation, the, uh, the easy way to do mm -hmm. and uh, the practical ways. So uh, everybody, the engineers and the workshop supervisors, technicians, they all come together and uh, give suggestions. So that initiative is making a, a, a best solution for our customers. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why we make, let's make something together. So everybody have a chance to add something to the solution and uh, uh, that is the organization culture that we have in uh, all safe engineering. Oh, so that's your organization culture. Exactly. So even the clients, they have a say in your solutions. Let's say you uh, give them the solution and uh, they can uh, suggest what they need exactly, when they because, go through their proposal. Exactly, we, uh -huh. because we, we are uh, getting uh, their requirements because sometimes, you know, in some factories they, they have to have an aesthetic uh, view also. Okay. So we are discussing with them mm -hmm. and our team is very, very, um, you know, talented to do that because, you know, when they talk to uh, the clients, they are talking with the, mm -hmm. uh, with the, with their requirements mm -hmm. and according to the requirements and the clients also have, have to have a chance mm -hmm. uh, to change anything or to not, 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 with the, not within the regulations, right? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. regulations are, uh, yeah. You should have to uh, follow, the, follow regu the regulations. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, rules, yeah. the suggestions also come from the customer side also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We also are listening to that their part also. Okay. So how affordable are your products, Samila? Just concerned. Yeah, actually, everybody thinks the fire system or fire extinguisher. Very expensive. Very expensive. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's uh, for a car. Right, you can get it 4,000 rupees uh -huh. with a small fire extinguisher, okay. one kg, one, one kilo fire extinguisher. And all ranges are 15,000, uh -huh. right? It's 10,000, right? The fire extinguishers. So it's it's not over 50,000, right? Everybody can have affordable for a, even a home or a apartment or a house or in even a restaurant or salon. But nobody think about that. They think because it's an investment. Yeah. So if, if your property is lost, uh, if you don't know how to operate it, if your property is lost, so it will worth more, that you know, cause millions. more damage. Yes, yes true. And yeah. if, if they're buying in bulk, you give discounts as well? Exactly. If they're buying from you? Exactly. If you have a project, you know, we give a mm -hmm. big discount uh, to them, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the quantity and the, and the place where, where it's located. Okay. Mm -hmm. How sustainable are your initiatives? Because... Uh, Everyone is talking about sustainability. Let's talk about the sustainability of your initiatives. Actually, uh, mainly we are uh, focusing on the safety of the people, mm -hmm. safety of the machinery, mm. and safety of the environment. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, preventing fire is a preventing uncontrollable fire is also it itself a, a sustainable approach. Actually, we, are, we what we are doing is we are educating through the trainings, and we are preventing fires. And uh, we, then we are moving to sustainable because, as, we, as I said, our organization culture is made in a sustainable approach. So mm. to everybody to minimize the materials, um, to uh, use uh, less energy. Mm. So likewise, we have a setup. We, are, we have our own setup of uh, having sustainable uh, approach. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what projects have you done so far? And uh, would you like to talk about your current projects? Actually, Share we have done so many it. projects in uh, uh, different... Any success stories that you can remember? Uh, actually, we have done a project uh, in uh, in Katunayak area. Uh -huh. It was a huge uh, warehouse project. Okay. So with For the, the BOI zone? It's not the BOI zone. It's uh -huh. out of the BOI zone. Mm -hmm. So that is a huge task because it's, uh, it's the... The, the construction was very different, you okay. know, at that time, very difficult to match the regulations, right? It's sometimes it's uh, we are we have we have uh, doing things and uh, we have changed the uh, structure sometimes. 
to match the regulation. Oh. So that is very structure of the building. Structure of the, of the building, and you know, we make uh, different, uh, you know, the walls for that. Um, the structure is not compatible with the uh, with the fire regulation because they they made the structure first and then ask us to That's do that. Thing. Yeah. So then we have to. Match the regulation. So you have to work with the architect as well. Architecture as well, and uh, with the construction guys. So then, it's very difficult uh, situation. But we manage. That is the mm. one I came. Mm -hmm. uh, in my mind uh, now. And the customer was very yeah, the happy. The customer was very very happy about because they need to comply with the regulation uh -huh. somehow. And do you give after uh, sales training as well exactly. when you sell your product? You train them as well to use it. Yes, because exactly we are giving the training to uh, our. Um, staff and also the the clients because clients. if we install something uh, a fire alarm system no if nobody knows how to operate no point, no, no point of installing, installing. Yes, yes so we give a training to them special training for the in charge ah. the person who is uh, in charge of the system uh -huh. maybe the instrument control engineer maybe the char manager mm -hmm. or the security official mm. so the people who are operating the the training is very very important because uh, i can remember when i was in chief engineer at one company um, I got a message that uh, there's a fire in uh, emergency generator. So when I go there, it's uh, it's all white uh, mist, and you cannot see anything even one meter. So when I go there, I, I saw two, uh, three gentlemen. Uh, he's fighting the fire with the four portable fire extinguishers, okay. just because they have trained superbly mm. at that time. You know, we had a, we had a good training, so they they extinguished the fire. I can still remember the names, uh, Mr. Charles Jayasundara okay. and uh, Asanka Fernando and, and Lalit, Lalit training Kumar. Was training success. was superb and I, I, know, I, know, uh, I know them very well. I think well. that's one of those points uh, which made you so special in the industry. Exactly. So, uh, Samil, if they're interested uh, in, in contacting you, how can they do that? Actually, um, we have our uh, website, uh -huh. allsafe.lk uh -huh. and uh, we are through email you can contact us, info at allsafe.lk, our hotline especially. Uh, no double one double two four eight nine four nine, mm -hmm. and through mobile, uh, we can you can contact us. Uh, no seven one five double six eight four four three and uh, no seven one five double six eight two seven five. So you can contact us. We can give you a reliable solution. Okay, so thank you very much, Samila. Um, it was lovely having you today and um, learned a lot from you. So today we had All Safe Engineering Private Limited with us, Director Samila Sandal Silva, and they are uniting safety and engineering. Have a pleasant evening. I'll see you next week.